Hey everyone, it's Bill Duran here from Punished Props. Now, 3D printing gets really cool and more exciting every single day. In fact, a while ago I did a video all about 3D printing. You can check that out right there and see kind of what my opinions are on the whole matter. Now, since then, I've actually had a chance to do some 3D printing of my own. In fact, I modeled up one of my space guns and had it sent out to Shapeways and they printed it for me. That tiny little space gun that they sent back to me was then filled in, sanded, and used to make what's known as a junk mold. This is a crummy, fast mold that I use to pour in just a little bit of resin, pop out a copy of it, and then that copy gets finished all nice and pretty like so that I can make a really nice production mold and make some really neat keychains out of it. For me, that's kind of what 3D printing can do for me right now. A really great way to quickly make a prototype, which is awesome. And since then, I've had a chance to do some 3D printing of my own, where I handled all of the nuts and bolts of the printing on a really nice hobby printer. I took that same exact model that I sent to Shapeways and printed it myself on my brother-in-law's home printer. The results were mm, educational. For starters, I actually know a lot about 3D modeling, doing meshes and polygons for animation. Uh, turns out I don't know all that much about generating really nice STL files for 3D printing. The print that we got out of the machine was missing parts and I didn't know why. Also, even though this was a higher resolution printer, uh, it still lacked kind of the refinement that I wanted out of the print. Now these results are probably a factor of my ignorance of good 3D printing practices. It turns out that translating a 3D mesh into something that a printer knows what to do with is outside of my current skill set. I could practice a whole bunch and hone those skills and get really good at 3D printing. And if I had a 3D printer, which I don't, not yet, I would probably do that. But right now, as someone who's running a small business, building props for a living, I can't really justify the cost or the time it would take to get there, at least not yet. Still, 3D printing is really handy and sometimes it's a great way to solve a prop making problem. So my current solution, if I need something 3D printed, I'll whip up a 3D model, send that off to some place like Shapeways and have them handle turning it into a print for me. That way I know I'll get a really good print, it'll be for a pretty fair price, and if the print fails, which anyone who's printed their own stuff knows that sometimes the print fails, they eat the cost on the failure, not me. I do know a lot of you guys have been doing your own prop 3D printing and I wanna hear all about it. I wanna hear what printers you're using, what problems you've run into, what successes you've had. So let me know in the comments down below or give me a holler over on Twitter at Chinbeard. Thank you guys all for watching and I'll catch you next time when we talk more about building some really cool props. See ya.